The CBN's decision to restrict cryptocurrency transactions by commercial banks drew the ire of Nigerians, especially those playing in the sector, leading to debates as to whether or not the directive was for the better as being touted by the Apex Bank. And then crypto gives this has brought to the forefront conversations by industry experts to find ways of bridging the gap that exists between the players and the regulatory bodies. The CBN should be able to regulate us, or the SEC should be able to regulate uh, Bitcoin or blockchain companies, because across the world it's being regulated, even uh, in the US and Europe. Experts believe that a lack of adequate information is usually the reason behind the acceptance by governments the world over. When it comes to regulation of cryptocurrencies, uh, usually why I think why a lot of regulators over the, all over the world um, struggle with it is because of um, the starting points. Usually the starting points, um, there's a missing link. What's that? Uh, regulators get worried about the negative uh, effects of cryptocurrencies. They think about all of the negativities in terms of uh, it could be used for money laundering, it could be used to, to finance terrorism, it could be used for scams and all of that. While focusing on all of that, they forget about the technology in the first place. In fairness to them, you know, they, 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 they had to do what they had to do because Nigeria's economy was gradually closing to um, other opportunities and a lot of attention was being focused on the crypto world. And banks was already doing what they were not supposed to do, facilitating a lot of crypto transactions for corporations, for businesses. I mean, um, Binance, as at the time this secular came out, was processing over 18 billion Naira transaction daily. And that goes to banks and that's quite, far bigger than my dress stock exchange. And because the CBN is not regulating the industry directly, mm -hmm. and there is no regulatory instrument that is actually live, that you can depend on to actually say that this is what is going on here, mm -hmm. these are the people who are moving these kinds of money and all that, mm -hmm. then they have to say, no, 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 stop. Don't use our banking system until we understand what is going on here. The way to solve those issues is not by just letting it go, but by regulating them. So you regulate the space. How do you regulate the space? You start off by understanding cryptocurrencies. You um, set up a working group of experts, economists, and policymakers. Mm -hmm. You know, not everyone understands how cryptocurrencies work. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a working group that would guide you and explain how it should be regulated. Um, regulation comes in so many forms, and in as if, if you if you look at the trend in different countries, um, governments have through their central banks either accepted it by um, setting up regulatory regimes or banning and restricting. So that's a, a, a bit of regulation. regulation. Ensuring the safety of assets and averting fraudulent activities are major concerns rocking the sector. In order for you to mitigate your risk while investing, there are two ways. Number one, insurance. Many people do not know that the cryptocurrency actually has insurance offered. Right? You have the DeFi insurance and you have the general one. DeFi basically is from the central bank of cryptocurrencies. So they actually have offering that offers insurance to cryptocurrency, right? The other way is diversification, which is the part that we love the most. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. And this is one of the big mistakes that everybody make. You're either making too much risk or taking too little risk. And both of them have a cost. So you're asking yourself, do I have assets in low-risk assets? Do I have assets in medium-risk assets? And do I have assets in high-risk assets? So cryptocurrency usually falls under that volatile high-risk one. Don't be overly exposed to it, but you'll be cheating yourself by not having a, a stake in the pie. The aim, according to the organizers, is to ensure government gets the right advice, as it is still looking into the issue. We have brought people who have been engaging with uh, the regulators so far, so good. And of course, the discussion we have here we we'll definitely get to the ears of uh, the SEC and the CBN. Of course, we tried to get the SEC to the conference, and uh, we are still looking to do that. If it means hosting a post-event uh, webinar to make sure we know where the regulators are at, where their head is at currently, 
with as regards to digital currencies in Nigeria. This is a first of many events that will bring experts in the blockchain, cryptocurrency, and fintech sectors together to try and bring everyone up to speed with what seems to be the money of the future. Thank <laughs> you.